Hello everyone, welcome to another session of Schneider Electric PSC training tutorials where we will learn Schneider Electric PSC programming. So in this presentation, we are going to learn what the set and reset ladder logic instructions are. So we will see there how the set coil operates, how the reset coil operates and we will see some example exercise. So to begin, we are going to start with the set coil. So this is a set coil and it has a symbol like the normal coil with an S inside the S symbolizing set. And in this coil, when there is a logic on the left side of the coil, the variable associated to the coil is energized, it sets to one. Okay, so let's see what it says. With the set coil, if any wrong path passes power, the associated Variable address is energized and set to 1 and remains energized even when no wrong path passes power. This coil is set to the on state when there is power flow from the left hand from the left hand link. The coil remains set until it is reset. Okay, so that's what I was just saying that if there is a logic one on the left side of the coil, then the coil is set to 1 and will remain set to one even if that pause goes away so if we have a scenario like this if you have a scenario like this when a pause come like that this coil will be set to one okay so the variable associated to that coil will be set to one and even when the pause goes away that coil will still stay at the one state until it is reset okay now the reset coil. So the reset coil is used to reset the set coil. So it is also a normal coil with an R inside indicating reset operation. Okay, so let's see what it says. With a set coil, if any wrong path passes power, the associated variable address is energized and set to zero and remains energized even when no path passes power. The coil is reset is reset to the on state when there is no power coming from the left hand link. The coil remains reset until it is set. So this means that when there is a logic on the left side of this coil, so let's say the logic comes the high state, the variable associated to this address is reset. That is why we use the set and the reset coil we must use them together because if you don't use them together when the coil is set you can only reset it through the reset coil so we always use them together so the coil is, is energized and, and reset when there is a logic from zero, 0 to 1 on the left left side of the coil and the coil will remain reset until it is it is set again Okay, I hope that makes sense. Okay, so we are going to see the operation of the set and reset coil. So let's assume that we have two inputs A and B and an output X. Okay, so when A is on and B is, when A is off and B is off, then the two, then the X variable assumes the O state. Okay, so that is the, the difference that the set and the set and reset operation brings it takes the O state. So it's different from the conventional coil that we we saw in an earlier in an earlier tutorial, which is like this. And with a coil like this, we can only use it in one, just one in one part of the ladder logic. We can only use it in one point. Okay, so let's see if we have in an address W then we can only use it in one just in one part we can't use it at multiple places but with a set and reset operation we can use it at multiple places so if a goes the off state and b goes to the off state then the call will take the state it was having before a goes to the off state and before b goes to the off state okay i hope that does not sound confusing all right now let's see a is now off and B is on. Okay, so if A is off and B is on, then that call will be off because it will be reset. So there will be a logic here 
and it will allow the flow of logic and as such the x variable is reset to the value zero and if a is now on and this b is off then we have a scenario where a is on which will allow the flow of logic so s is now set to one okay. and if both of them are on like a scenario like this then the, the coil will be set to zero because the reset operation has the, the highest priority in the set operation okay okay so let's, let's see some exercise it says i design a psa ladder logic program with two inputs a and b and two output x and y where a is used to set output x and reset output y and b is used to set output y and reset output x so you can pause the video and take some time to go through it before coming back to the video okay so let's look at the solution to that problem this is a hard wiring of that problem we have our two switches a and b normal two normally open switches a and b and our output x and y and this is a, a truth table when a is off b is off we have x and y are in the old state when a is off b is on then x is off and y is on when a is on b is off then x is on and y is off and when both of them are on then the two outputs are off okay all right so this is another logic that we that will implement this operation so when a is on so when a is on a has a logic there okay, what will happen is it will allow the flow of logic and the variable x will be set and y y will be reset and when b is on it will allow the flow of logic and then it's going to set the variable y and reset the variable x so a set x and reset y and b set y and reset x okay so let's test this logic in our software so i'll just open it all right so i've already I'll quick configure the software i've already declared the variables okay i've declared all the variables a and b x and y and they are different different addresses okay so i'll go back to the program our program environment i've already created a, a sample ladder program so what will happen is i'm going to drop the normally open contacts i'm going to pick the set coil i'll pick the reset coil next i'll pick another normally open contacts oh this did not complete logic okay so this goes to a this goes to b okay i'm just going to Analyze my project and then give it final connect it. Project transfer effect transfer. Okay, start simulation. Okay, so I'll just highlight everything and create initialize animation table. Just rearrange the windows. Okay. So, so let's see. Okay. So my when I turn on E, then X should be set, and Y will be reset. So if I turn on E, I put them under the force mode. I will set E to high state. So my, you can clearly see that my X is set to one, and my y is false even if i take a back to logic zero my x is still one okay my x is still one 
throughout uh, my B now will come into reset my X and set Y. So I will push B up. Okay, so my X has gone. Now it's red chain that is now off. You can clearly see from the animation table X is off. And now my Y is, is 1. Okay, and you can clearly see that but now there's a flow of logic. And when B goes down, so let's say that B goes false again, Y stays up until it is reset again by, by E. Alright, so that was it. That's how you can use set and reset operations in your in your application. Okay, so you can use them in a scenario where you're using momentary switch and you want to use it to permanently turn on a, a motor to be running when you have push and release and you want to use another momentary switch to turn it off when you push and release there you can use a set and reset coil okay i hope that makes sense all right so back to the presentation so let's now review what you have learned congratulations you have now understood that the set and reset bit instruction is used to latch or unlatch a bit of memory and you have also understood how you can use it in a plc or application that is true and exercise all right so that marks the end of this lesson okay so thank you for watching and please if you find this video helpful give it a thumb up and if you think that there's anything to be improved on this video, please do wait to share it with me in the comment section. And in the upcoming video, we are going to now look at set operation, set and reset operation with the flip flops. So please uh, like this video, share it and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. See you in the next video.